Blue Cup Chronicles, a comedy podcast that talks about everyday life situations and simple common sense. Ready to hear your favorite celebrity gossip or your favorite sex position? I hope you are ready to laugh like you have never laughed before, because here is your host, Shonda. Hello, and welcome to Blue Cup Chronicles, where we talk about everyday life situation and simple common sense. I'm your host, Shonda. And I'm Jen. And we are about to blow your mind. Jen, what is in your cup tonight? I have a little uh, concoction, you know, little uh, blueberry juice and vodka. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, okay. So we must be on the same page. The vodka got a little bit of cranberry and vodka here. You know, it's, it's, it's one of them days, you know, so... I had to mix me up something. Yes. Mm. <laughs> is it sweet? Is it sweet? It's you know, I don't like blueberries. You know, they look like the pupil of your ass. So you oh know, the, like, so you know, it's this eye. It's all right. All right. All right. How is your day today? It's Monday. It's been one crazy weekend, let me tell you. But how was your Easter? And definitely how was baby girl's birthday celebration? Baby girl's birthday celebration was awesome awesome that is awesome good. so we finished that up easter well yeah easter morning we finished that up with the kids friday birthday sleepover party saturday and easter sunday okay i love y'all but you you know you gotta go y'all gotta, gotta go. go i love y'all i know that's but right. today you know i just relaxed and i'm trying to recuperate i know that's right i know that's right i got a birthday coming up at the end of this week, which is my daughter, she'll be turning 11. So she definitely be having her party. But um, I don't celebrate either Easter. I actually say, um, actually happy resurrection day. So <laughs> I don't do the Easter clothes, the Easter basket, the Easter eggs, the Easter bunny, the Easter egg hunt. None of that. It's, it's all, you know, pegging for me. I just, I, I base it off what it's supposed to be about. But, right. You know, I did wake up this um, on that morning with some um, decorations on my tree outside for the kids. One of my um, neighbors who we grew close with, he is a single father. And um, he texted my husband a uh, Saturday night and was like, don't shoot me. I'm, I'm, I'm in your yard. <laughs> I'm doing it. <laughs> So we woke up Sunday morning to some decorations on the tree, some little goodie bag for the kids. So that was, that was cool. Okay, that was today. Yeah, that was awesome. 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 So yeah, but um, I did cook. I always cook on that day. So I just, I just barbecue. It wasn't, you know, it's the four of us. So I ain't do nothing big. Just, I did some ribs and some chicken and some pork mm. chops and some hamburgers and some hot dogs and some hot sausage. I know that seemed like a lot, but believe it or not, I only cook four pieces of everything other than the hot dogs. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Cause I figured, you know, it's just four of us. So we have one of each, you know, <laughs> the hot dogs, you can always go back to a much. And, I, and girl, <laughs> how about this? How you like your hot dogs? I'm sorry. I got to have a little burnt. It got to be burned. If it ain't okay. burned, it ain't good. You hear me? You know, I, 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 but I, I don't know. I didn't been to some black people house. I've been to some white people barbecues. Only those black people do it like that. The white people better like, can you keep mine on there a little bit longer? It don't even like you had it on there long enough. <laughs> you just warm that fucker up. Everything don't need to be eaten raw. Like, ugh. Well, I can say, thank God I never experienced that. You know, never been to a white person cookout. So, but you you know, I work with them and we cook at work and the ones that I work with, mm -hmm. they like, there's a little burnt too. So <laughs> I don't know who else you went to. They like, there's a little burnt. No, that's right. I know that's <laughs> right. That's good. That's good. I know as y'all can see, Tan is not with us. Um, she is no longer part of Blue Cup crew. Um, Blue Cup have to do what they have to do what's best for the team. Um, so we do wish her all the best in her endeavors. Um, Jen, what do you have with Gossip with Jen tonight? Gossip with Jen. I was just so at awe when I saw this article of the um, Texas officer punching the 16-year-old in the head. Yes. That totally got away with me. I mean, mm -hmm. he's 16. What you going to do? You can't legally arrest him. If you do, I mean, it's against the law. Yeah. Because he's not an adult but you i'm like you walk over and all this good stuff and you he give you gives you the id i don't 
don't know to me in a video it really he may have been trying to take off running yeah. i don't know i don't think he i don't think he was I don't think it, was, it looked like he sort of like stumbled backwards yeah, to me yeah, a little bit. Yeah, that's that's what it looks like to me a little bit, and that was just just ruthless. I I see it. I try to look at it from both ways, being as what I do, right mm-hmm. is right is wrong is wrong is wrong, and I'm not gonna uphold any officer that is in the wrong period point blank. Right. But that was te- that was just technically wrong. But the video was it was just awful. I'm, I mean, he didn't call for backup. Anything. He just to me it's like he was angry. Yeah, yeah. He, he was he was he was he, angry. Yeah. He was even angry. before he approached. Him. Yeah, I was just about to say even before he approached it. And you <laughs> know how they all say you you wrong. never know he might have been having a bad day. I don't care what bad day you right. had. You leave what happened at home at home and was at work at work. Y'all got to learn how to separate right. the two instead of flipping out and having all of these issues and bringing them to work. It's exactly, crazy. but some people don't don't know how to separate that too. Absolutely. Totally, like they, they don't know how to do it, which is the sad part about it because people can read that, oh, yeah, if you were going to be like this, you just could have stayed at home, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. In in this in this field where he's in, you you have to take those days. Like mm-hmm. I say, he looked angry when he approached him, but you have to take those days, no matter if it's something to help me, if it's not, because you can be freaking mentally. When I say literally mentally drained, you it it is, it yeah. is. But miss, but back back to that. Yeah, they say, but. You know, even if they did, they say they ran, you know, took off from them before. Right. Even if they did, this was not an issue. It sure wasn't. It sure wasn't. It wasn't. Not, not and, it, and it shouldn't have been one. So, you know, I, I don't, I, I don't get it. You know, I don't, I can't even speak on it anymore. I'm just, so, I'm, I'm actually <laughs> sick and tired of speaking on it, to be honest, because it just, you you feel like when is it going to stop? Is it going to stop? I don't. Yeah. Well, what else you got for us today? Today you yeah, well you know DMX he's in the hospital he, he's not looking too good. <sighs> now the kids are on their way in. I just the MS just he's had a I rough think life. They got there by I think I mean they they there now. I know they're they got there, there now, Sunday, yeah. they, 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 there. Oh, yeah. But he done had a rough life, period. Point he point. had, I mean, all the rehab he went through. He didn't he do a whole year because the judge made him do a whole year in rehab. Right. Yeah, and then he and then he, and then I think he admitted himself back in the hospital. Yes. Cause he because he said he felt like he was going to relapse. You know, it's just some people have them demons that they fight and we never know what you're dealing with in life. Everybody has their own issues and their own skeletons in the closet. Nobody know what this man was going through. Nobody but him. Yeah, but he, I remember an interview he did a while back, years ago, where he said, you know, he had a lot of demons that he could not deal with and the drugs helped him with that. But I just say that it came to this point where, you're at ICU with little brain function at that. Yes, because yes. he was Not deprived of so much oxygen during the CPR. You know, so um, you know we here at Blue Cup, we always send our you know not condolence our prayers oh, yeah we send our prayers in condolence we're gonna send our <laughs> prayers out to dm because he's not actually going right. to get y'all you know yeah, i mean i don't know what kind of brain functions he got but i do know who my god is i don't know who anybody else right. god is so we're gonna leave that in his hands because you never know what miracles god can pull right um and most you know. definitely pray, uh pray for the kids you know they're there by side make sure get you know so they can have strength to get through this absolutely because that's that's you know no one wants to lose their father you know so we definitely send you know our prayers and 
wishes out to DMX and his family and his kids and hope and pray he he pulled through this situation. We need you out there. We need the rough riders. I, I miss Eve and all the rough riders. What you yeah. say? There was, was some music. He still yeah. have it though, dude. I remember the last concert he did. Wasn't he with 50 Cent? I think, oh, I don't know. I think he went up there. I don't remember who he was with, but I, I know it was a good concert. I mean, them were the good yeah. old days. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. It DMX, was. DMX, Eve, Ja Rule, Ashanti. Ashanti, man. yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It was, it was on and popping. Yes. Got any more news for us? No, we're going to end it with that today. Oh, okay. Okay. And then since we did bring up the Rough Riders, I'm, I'm glad we brought them up because I want to, they, they biker club, the Rough Riders biker club, mm-hmm. they um rolled up to DMX hospital. Oh, wow. I yeah. That yeah. So that was, that was sweet that they did that. I forgot to mention that, but that was, that was awesome. And they have recorded it and took pictures and videos and stuff of it. If you haven't seen it, but yeah. um, yeah, yeah, that was good. That was good. Um, Today on Hey, did you know? Because we do still have. Hey, did you know? <laughs> hey, right, right. You know, hey, hey, it, 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 it must go on. But today on Hey, did you know? Did you know that on today, April the fifth, Booker T. Washington, the African American um, educator, author, and advisor to a string of presidents, was born a slave in Halesford, Virginia, on this very day, April the fifth, eighteen fifty six. Did you know? Probably didn't, because I didn't. Did not so, know. <laughs> did not. Right? Not at all. Today, we are discussing how oh. early is too early to send a nude. <laughs> now, since she ought to be on that mess, right? What? I'm just saying how early is too early to send a nude. Jen, how early is too early to send a nude? Okay, let's see. We're in 2021. Okay, these people are sending news even right now before they even meet the freaking person. You meet them online. They oh, can you send me this? They snapping pictures, send them through uh, Messenger, on through text messaging and all this stuff. Putting it out there in the whole world for anybody to try to hack and see. Baby, they, um, let me, okay, I'll put it, Shonda, I will take um, two hours, it's too, too early to send a nude for 100. <laughs> Damn, they sending it that soon? They wasting <laughs> no time? No time, they wasting no time. God, I mean, I thought, man, you know, I, mm, I was going to say, you know, to be honest, I've never sent Travis a nude. I've really? never sent him a nude. And you know why I think it's more of the fact that it's always crossed my mind. Maybe because I've always watched too many shows um, of what not to do. Uh, not, not that we will ever split up, but in the back of my mind, the first thing I'm thinking is you got my nude. What you going to do with that? You might get mad at me and leak it. Like, I've never actually made a, a porno with him. I know some of y'all make these videos with y'all spouses and be sitting back looking at them together. No, I've never done that. Because you will never take that motherfucker when you leave. Mm-mm. 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 Look, look, look. So, mm-mm. <laughs> mm-mm. Mm-mm. This is your husband. I don't care. I'm on. I don't care. So how early is too early to send a nude into Shonda book? Never. Don't ever send it. Don't ever send it. Stop sending bodies. Picture, pictures of your body by text, y'all. Don't do that. By internet, by nothing. This is precious and it should be treated as such. Okay, you know? well, well, I'm going to say, I have I have done that. He was on the road, driving trucks, all this good stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he was gone for two weeks at a time, come home for a weekend. Yes, I, yes, yes. Yes. Okay. So, but, so that's uh, different. No way. That's different. He's on the road and he ain't by you. So I would prefer to give him something to look at 
then right. nothing to look at and then he stop and find somebody to look at exactly but and if i know you coming home every single night in this house i'm not giving you nothing to look at not even make the video mm -mm. i told you you are never you we are never split up and you'll never use that against the shonda i'm sorry never i don't even think he'll do anything like that come on it's it's about fun it's take your is that is that the most fun you're gonna get out my boring ass is um turn on the light and leave it on <laughs> i'm just playing look look y'all know you probably be like come on now you cannot be, no i'm not john really not you know i've been telling need you to do better Seriously, I'm gonna need you to do better because they just turn on the light and leave. I was joking. <laughs> can you? Yes. Oh, what? Can, can you come on now? You got. You know you got to spice it. Uh, spice it up. Says who? Everybody. Says I'm good. I mean. How long y'all been married? Ooh, 17 years. You see what I'm saying? There you go. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. why I still there. I see. See, let me tell you. If I can walk out naked and he still get a heart, baby, it's still there. Okay. Really? Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, when you walk out naked and he don't do shit but still go to sleep, then it's a problem. Okay? Yeah, that's a very it's big problem. A, I got yeah. a friend like that. I got a friend like that. Her and her husband ain't had sex for like almost a year and a half. Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. know how they do it. I don't know how they do it because I, I can't go that long. I'm sorry. I, I maybe she not invested in one of those little roses and all that good stuff. You know, you, you know. I'm sure she probably was, got that now. She was yeah. using the shower head like I was. I taught her about the shower head, you know. You know, I had to tell her how, how much it was a good friend to me and it did me so right and it never, it never let me down. Always was there through all my trying times. That <laughs> shower head. Absolutely. Never lets me down. I ain't, but, I ain't no shower head finna help with nothing. Yes, it do. You doing the wrong spot. You're hitting the wrong spot or you ain't got that thing turned the right way. Look, don't be doing the sprinkles, okay? You got to do that hard, powerful water that comes out, okay? That shit, yeah, that, you know. Oh, the pulsate, the pulsate one. No, just, just hard, just, just run out. Just, okay. Yeah. And just make sure I'm doing water. the wrong. Doing yeah, put one leg up and leave one leg down. See, you can't just open your leg, leave, put one leg up on, on top of the, the, the tub and one leg down. Well, if you got one long like me, you can sit down with it. So that makes it even better. You need to put both legs up. <laughs> or, you know. I'll be down. I, 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 I st make sure you stand against the wall because I'm telling you, it's been, it's, been, it's been many times that I slid and it almost fell and, and bust my ass. And then laugh and and but I still didn't. And I went right back to work. I showed them. I was holding on to it like I got it. I got it. It's going nowhere. I'm just saying. No, I, I can't. I'm sorry. I mm -mm. no. I can't. I I gotta have the real deal. I, I got the no. real deal, but sometimes the real deal. Okay, so. He gets up, go to work early. I roll over. He ain't there. I'm horny. What am I supposed to do? Wait till he come home? No. I'm going to take care of that. Time for a shower. Or a bullet. I got enough batteries in my drawer for those. I need to get a new one because I didn't. the button is broke, so when you turn it on, <laughs> Sometimes it won't stay on, so it'll cut back off, and I have to hold it. I have to sometimes I have to hold the button and then hold it down at the same time while yeah. I'm holding the button. So you know what? Jiggle, get you, jiggle, get you some gorilla glue, right? No, I and don't then, want no gorilla glue because I don't want it to always stay on. 
No, so just I, take the batteries out. Uh, screw the batteries out, and then when you get ready to use, just put the batteries back in. You know, that's ghetto as fuck. So anybody <laughs> that's <laughs> anybody that's listening. You sell them things, hit me up. I need a silver bullet, okay? A powerful one. If you got a waterproof one, they're my favorite. But a powerful one. If you got one of them ones where you could turn it up and down, because this one you just push a button, so it would just it would just like one one speed. And then when you put the batteries in, it's just you be like woo. But yeah, so I want. <laughs> So I want the one that you can turn up and down so I can start out real low and then gradually move to high. And then, you know, I'm just saying. No? No. Oh, okay. Well, uh, no. You know. See, see you, got a, you got a husband that can start off slow and gradually move. He going to work. I just told okay. you that. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you what I used to do. I just to. told you that. Let me tell you what I used to do when I worked a night shift, Okay. What I would do is, while I leave work, I cooked dinner. Mm-hmm. And I made sure he was drained before I left, if you get what I'm saying. Okay, but... He was full mean, and drained. That doesn't mean that I was full and drained, okay? I may can go four, five times. You may only want it twice. So I'm going to need to satisfy myself them other few times that you decide to take your ass to sleep. Not that he does that all the time. And I get, he works very hard, very hard work. So he'd be tired, you know? And I'd be like, look. <laughs> I, I, I know we went a whole hour the first time, but it's been 20 minutes. Huh? You ready for round two? I'm tired. But you just lay there, let me get you back hard, and I'm going to go ahead and climb on top because I'm ready for round two. Okay. Exactly. That's the plan. But then when I wake up in that morning and I dig down a little quick quickie and he going to work, I, I'm ready for let me round say, two. The, the problem, the problem solver to that, when you hear his alarm go off, go ahead and get up. I hear his alarm go off because I hear before he hid. Get your ass. Get your I ass. got to wake his ass up every morning. Like, can you please turn off your damn alarm? I don't need to wake up with you. Okay, so there you go. You say you wake him up to cut off his alarm. There you go. Go on, on over there and bend over and do what you got to do. You get your quick and let him go on and get washed up and go to work. Bam, you are good. I'm not good. I now need it again. By the time he didn't warm up his car, I'm horny for some more. I be telling him, if you don't do it so good the first time, I wouldn't want no more the second time. Sorry. Because now you got I, me in them. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. But I mean, it is what it is. You got to get what you can get. Exactly. That that's point of that's time. when you grab the silver bullet and you let it finish the rest of the way. Do you not understand? Yes. You, you let it do the rest of the way for you. Yes. Your way ain't gonna be pregnant with energizer bunnies, god damn it. You gotta have a uterus for that. God damn hey. it. Hey, hey. Them batteries. Yeah. Know that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just letting you know, hey, no pregnancies going along whether there's batteries or not. Gotta have a uterus. I, I should have done that with my... you. You know, I right cannot. now with somebody to donate theirs during this stimulus time, cause um, I'm I wish I had some of the mother kids still at home. Can you imagine what? Ooh, wait. But can you? Do you really realize? Like, I've been seeing these parents, and I have been you know people talking. Their kids are asking for their stimulus, saying, uh, "Biden gave yeah. them some money." They want them, they're, they're, they're part of the stimulus. Girl, well, that's where they fucked up at because I gave my kids their money. <laughs> Parents not giving their kids their money. No. But you got your own. No. So you got yours and kept this? Yeah. What the? You didn't spend nothing on the kids? They did. 
what the, what they're saying is is that they wish other people kids to stop going to school and stuff talking about this stimulus check stuff because now they asking for their money well i guess i well thank god my kids is homeschooled because they would have been them kids they would have straight been them kids because i went out and was i think my, my travis bought land in them what's that called kai kairi mm -hmm. them damn shoes and um nunu got two shoes they got clothes like they got money they got toys they right they was doing what they wanted to do they bought under yeah. control that's what baby girl shoes clothes all this stuff good yeah. stuff money in her that was their money you had your right. own money are you in serious savings? wait a minute that money came right around tax time for people so you had that in your taxes and you still couldn't get your kids their money oh no no see see zanasia has a cell phone all of that she, you call her and ask because she'll tell you yeah and then their birthdays happen so you know you you want this exactly. party? you want to contribute to that party <laughs> exactly. how, how big you want that turtle party because he had a turtle party she's having a unicorn again but i'm not gonna argue with her. you want another unicorn party sure i'll bake you another two damn tier unicorn cake well i'm i'm telling this bar, bar party here y'all say about uh, who jesus how much number about broke me ray well and i know i'm not gonna really speak it, it was just so much right? and then and then the dog gun man still came and picked up the spawn ball bounce house. I'm finna tell you, if it leave it any longer than five days, it's mine. <laughs> they don't charge me nothing next because that's your fault you to come get it. It's, 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 sure. it's mine. It is totally mine. So how early is too early to send the new? Realistically, I would say, people, maybe six months. If, if, if you ain't seen this person, been with this person, been in a house, met their family, uh, if you don't know if, if their mom and daddy's still alive, blah, blah, you probably shouldn't be sending nudes. If you don't know how many kids they got, you probably shouldn't be sending nudes. If you don't know if they have kids, you probably shouldn't be sending nudes. I, I think it's too early. Cause you don't know shit about them. If you don't know where that motherfucker work, <laughs> you probably shouldn't be sending nudes. But you gotta realize this is a new generation. I don't think they send these nudes. The only thing they wanna do is send nudes, meet up and get them some. They ain't caring about nothing else. Girl, they, and, and the younger kids send them out like crazy. So right. I was sitting here they watching, do. was it Dr. Phil? No, it was not Dr. Phil, damn it. It was on the ID channel. And it was this guy that literally was stalking these teenagers for nudes and was threatening them that they had to keep sending him nudes in order for, um, or, 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 or he would he would call the police on them as well. He was telling them that, that they were committing a crime, that he would spread their pictures to all their friends and embarrass them. He'll kill their parents. It was crazy wow. stuff. And then he was like, take your shirt off stupid bitch stuff that's how he was talking to the girls girl when they finally found this man because he slipped up when he ended up actually one of the girls um had called the police on him and the police told them told her to just erase all her social media when she did that he couldn't find her no more she logged back on and he found her immediately when he when they found her when he found her he sent all her news to her friends and wow. when he did that, he forgot to turn off his little IP thing or whatever. And they found him and went to his house. And he was a law student, I do believe, in his damn parents' basement. Damn. Yep. <laughs> and they found hundreds of girls he had did this to. Wow. So it's like, you know, even when you got this younger generation and they got a little boyfriend and he like flash your titties you know what i'm saying they think that shit cute just ee, put the shirt on down and then all of a sudden it gets out there what? everybody in your school see you now now you crying Look, and there's a lot suicide. of that going on a lot of it and it's a it's a shame mm -hmm. oh my god yeah they don't know what they're doing they yeah. think it's all fun and games until like you said they sending that picture around to all the friends yeah period it just yep. 
Oh my God. And it made me feel some type of way. I got a dog. It made me feel some type of way because I hate to have to hurt somebody's child. You hear me? Right? Like, I mean, I go through my daughter's cell phone and her laptop because she do have one. Most of her stuff is on parental anyway. So she can't, like, if she wants to even go to the Play Store and download something, she has to bring it to me for me to put right. into my passcode. She can't do any of that. Um, yesterday, she actually um, unfriended, blocked one of her friends. And because um, little girl called her stupid and, and my daughter don't like that. Somebody called her stupid. And um, so she blocked her. And uh, sure enough, because it was through Messenger Kids, it sent me a, a message like, your daughter blocked this person. She can't contact her no more. She can't do it. And then it actually said, you might want to talk to her about it. For what? Oh, wow. If she made the decision to block a motherfucker, there's no need for me to talk to you. Obviously, you pissed her ass off when she's 10 years old, blocking bitches. So she learning, that she, you know what, she, she's a... She just like her mama. She learning very early. She like, bitch, I ain't got fucking time for this shit. Block. <laughs> to be more careful. <laughs> I gotta be more careful. But yeah, I have, uh, yeah, I got parental control set up on uh, baby girls' iPads and stuff. The yep. phone is going to come probably in a couple of years. But anytime she go on there, it going to send me an email. Rainice wants to purchase such and such. Do you approve? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. And sometimes I'd be like, "What the heck is? Hold on, right. what, what is this?" And I'd be like, "What is this?" Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. True. Oh my god! So it's just, I, I just, it, it's a mess. But kids, cell phones, and pictures. Get them a. I don't know. I guess I, I'm. I think I get my baby girl when I do get her one. I believe I'm gonna have to take it back old school. What? You know, when everybody first started getting a cell phone. See, when I gra when I graduated high school and was headed to college, mom got me my first cell phone to, you know, let call them if they, you know, I had an emergency something. It was all silver flip, flip phone, Samsung, <laughs> no camera. Don't do that to her. Don't <laughs> do that to her. So you not about to get her no Who cell phones like that other than Family Dollar? Uh-uh, they got cameras on there. I mean, I'm getting one without a camera. Who sell those? Who sell those? I bet you. You know what? I ain't got it. At my, my, at my mom and dad's house or there? In my bedroom. I still got that cell phone. Girl, bye. You gonna call and you gonna be like, I want to activate this phone, and you gonna give the I E the I M E I number, and then about this phone is not compatible anymore. <laughs> are you state? They might say, are you serious? First, where did you find this from? <laughs> and, then, and then they might offer you one of their phones you pay monthly on because they 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 ain't gonna be able to believe that you actually want to cut this motherfucker on. I still got my freaking razor from when they first came. I'm, I'm like, I'm going to need you to get rid of them old phones. They do you no good, sweetie. <laughs> you can never use them again. You could never use them again. I have a hey, laptop baby. that has Windows Vista on it. What? Okay. Damn. That mother uh -huh. was the slowest laptop <laughs> I ever had in my life. It takes every bit of 25 minutes to boot the hell up. You understand? 25 minutes. I do have another one, of course, a newer one. But I'm just saying, as I was sitting here cleaning my room and looked under my bed, there goes that laptop. And the laptop is so old, the power button is completely gone. So I don't know how the fuck I'm turning it on, but I rigged it up some kind of way to put a pin in there to press a button and I hope I don't get let's cheat one day yeah, doing that shit. You gonna fuck rig... yourself up. Get rid of it that. It took me time. like five tries to remember the pen. That's how old that, that computer, Window Vista, I done told you. But you said I had heard Window Vista in, oh, yeah, um, I'm gonna need you. You want me to get rid of, tell me I need to get rid of phones, ain't it? Get rid of that laptop, both of gotta get rid of Well, see, I found it under the bed. So yes, it'll be getting rid of, but I'm just saying, so I was just like, damn, this bitch old. 
I even tried to update and it laughed at me and said, no, nah, bitch, this is not going to update. You can't. <laughs> what did it be like this? Oh, you were trying to update the one to 10. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge me. I was like, oh, I got a good laptop. I can get it to land in. Yeah, no, it was like, that motherfucker started coughing like. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't working. Just stop. Ooh, and then geez. guess what I did? You think I threw it away? I put it in the box. I don't so, know why the fuck I'm keeping it. Should I take a hammer to it? Because I'm scared of throwing it away and somebody be able to access my information. So should I just take a hammer to it and just destroy the hard drive? Because ain't shit on it I won't. I don't care about any picture that's saved on that computer. Why? Because if I ain't already got it printed out, then it ain't, it ain't nothing, nothing I need. I got enough yeah. memory in my head. Yeah, take your old um, hammer to it so we won't nobody get that stuff, even though it's going to take an hour for them to try to hack into it old as it is. So, hey, but you know. Yeah. You, ne- you, you never know. Them, 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 them genes, them white people are, you know, hackers when it comes to that shit. They can hack a window vista. So I'm going to take a, ooh, I, ooh, I should do a day that somebody piss me off. That would be some good frustration to relieve out on that fucking lap. Just take it outside, just like Rah! just like I'm incredible hawk, and just throw it down at all my might, and just grab that hammer and just beat the shit out. Yeah, of make make a TikTok of it, so you know that'll go viral. I am, I am angry woman. Yep, <laughs> angry woman. No, I think I'm gonna title with something else to make it funny. But yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You done gave me an idea. Hmm. Oh, hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. uh, let me do the pinky. Hmm. <laughs> I kind of I kind of know what's going on in your head right about now. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Maybe, you know, maybe I'll finally get some views like a TikTok straight been holding me. They got me straight blocked. I'm shadow banned. My view, my my video getting two hundred views now. Why did I, it's so many people on on TikTok right now saying about like you who have been viral all that stuff and they're saying now they're just they're completely shadow banned. It's ridiculous. Yeah, anything I post that that even gets a thousand views, they flag it. They wow. flag it. They and I'm just like, really? What now? Harassment on who? What now? Bullying on who? What now? Like community guideline restrict. Whoa! So yeah, uh, fuck TikTok. Um, I think TikTok is mad when I cut off the money. When I stopped making the money for them and I decided to not do that shit where they pay you chump change and they make all the money off my videos, that was when I started being shut up in. Mm. Yeah. They want you to get back on that money train, money train. I get back live so I can make my own motherfucking money. Fuck what they talking about. Yeah, you haven't went live in a minute. Oh my God. Blue Cup has been my priority. And, and, and you know, and just dealing with all this, y'all, it's some changes that's going to be coming soon. I cannot wait till y'all see it. I don't want to tell y'all until it happens. But yes, there's, got, there's about to be a lot of changes and it's going to shock the few of y'all on how things are going down. But Blue Cup has to do what's best for Blue Cup. And if that means letting people go that is not a fit for Blue Cup, then that's what we have to do. Um, and that's just how I'm going to leave it. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of changes coming, y'all. And I can't wait till y'all see it. I am so excited, so excited. Just, Especially just so come May. You said what? Just to let just to let y'all know, she's talking that, that shit right, right now. But if she do decide to get, get rid of Jan, see what I'm going to tell you, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to call her, you know, before, you know, I know the days that I'm going to call before. Can I, can I come to work today? And then she say no. I'll be like, okay, I'll try you net week. Net week come. You gonna let me come in today? Yeah, I'm gonna be that that type of yeah. No, that's right. She gonna have to let me come back because I ain't gonna let her. She ain't gonna change the phone number. So hey, I, I, I know that I, I sure ain't. I sure ain't. But you know, sometimes 
an apology people can go a long way and when you mess up as an adult um you are taught as a, as a young kid to apologize some of us have been and right. some of us haven't you know some of us ain't been taught that way some of us are some spoiled ass stupid ass people so um you just don't know how to apologize um so um sometimes an apology can go a long way and especially with me i'm a very forgiving kind of person um especially if you apologize um but yeah you know so that's that's pretty much what blue cup is 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 doing right now but yeah so back on the topic the noobs people stop doing it if you not if you don't see yourself with this part again not before six months it's too early you will you would you agree to that? No, you got your hand. What the hell? You got your hand up. We don't need to all here. Go ahead, Jen. I had to make it feel like the old days, you know. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. You can tell these people all day freaking long not to send news. You can tell all day. Oh. Until you run out of breath, until you were blue in your face, they don't give a fuck. You hear me? Really don't. Not at all. They gonna send these news. Oh, and don't let it be the one. Do not let it be this one. They find out the news snuck that out. So now yeah. all of a sudden, nine one one. What's your emergency? Such and such. No, send my news. They send the news around the people. They post the news on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> those are some of the that's one scenario that some people get you know sending this new you know made this person mad now i had to go with my friend to the police station with her daughter because her daughter sent the news to a boy and he shared it with the whole school see what i'm saying yep that's why you shouldn't especially kids 18 and, and i'm sorry 17 yeah 17 and younger should not be sending nudes 18, you shouldn't either. Because you stupid. You just got out of high school. My thing about you, it you, is... You're not even grown because they ain't already raised right. up the age of cigarettes again. So you ain't <laughs> even grown. You can't even buy cigarettes, bitch. You still ain't grown. You still ain't grown. <laughs> <laughs> you, you ain't grown. You age 25. I've been telling my kids that my son said, wow, I'm finally grown. Yep, you finally grown. Now you're 25. Now you actually officially legal, which means you can also be off my insurance. You really grown. I'm just saying because now, now they allow the kids to be back on the parents' insurance and I pay for it, then bitch, you still ain't grown. You still no, ain't grown. Wait, let me tell you. I was on my parents' insurance for so you was how at old? that time. Huh? To how old? It was like 24 or something like that long while because I was in I was in school. So you know, it that that's what it was, you know. In school, insurance. So long as you in school, that insurance gonna keep rolling. It sure the hell is <laughs> on my on my expense. So you still ain't grown. You still ain't grown. You still ain't grown. You can't even go to the motherfucking doctor without me. You still ain't grown. So you can't even fill out your paperwork correct. Uh what do I put right here? It says sex, bitch. What you male or female? <laughs> just so <bad. laughs> I'm just saying these kids are so slow with filling this shit out now. They just like no, 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 no. I would say no. They sending these news. They doing all this stuff, but they're not learning what they need to be learning. You send the news, but what you need to be doing learning is your basic information. Because I tell you, on a day and day, on a day to day basis, I come in contact with twenty, not teenagers. That I want to stand now, be enough. Don't know their social security yeah, number. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> it freaking tears my nerves up. But, but I can call my mom and get it. Yep. Yep. So that's what you're going to do. When that's what you're you going to do every call. single time. Call your mama. Every single time. Yep. I, I remember growing up, my mom and dad made sure you need to know this, you need to know that, you need to know that. And they actually would help us and go over with it, but also let us know and stress it to us that this is something that you don't give to anybody. 
Exactly. But yet to see her, you would get them a cell phone with a camera on and let them snap pictures <laughs> of that little thing thing and all this stuff and sit all around for the whole wide world to see. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. But that's what that's what happens. So as a kid, no news, but as an adult, six months. People. I wouldn't even say six months. I'm gonna t- I I think I was like when he started driving trucks, what, like 22, 20, something like that. that that's when that was done, because I wasn't keen on snapping pictures of my body. Me either. It. But then I'm like, okay, when he started, you know, this man gone for two weeks at a time. He come home a weekend. I, uh, let me, yeah. He need these. <laughs> right. Hey, man. <laughs> we doing it. But yeah, you got to be in a serious, for these news, it needs to be a serious, serious relationship, serious. something like that. It can't be no fly by yeah. night kind of thing. Boyfriend, you need- girlfriend, I right. just met you. We just met at right. the bar. Oh, you look cute. No, you need to be in a serious, full serious relationship. relationship. I, I have to, to agree with time. you on that one. I have to agree with you on that one. Yeah. So let's take right. this yeah. month out. Full-fledged relationship. Serious. What's your meaning? If you don't know what his or her favorite series is, Thank color, you. what they allergic to. Is mom and daddy still here, grandma, all these? Yep. You don't need to be sending it. That's why I said, if you don't know how many kids he got, <laughs> all their names, right. and you definitely, especially their names, and you don't need to be sending because he ain't even talking about the kids that damn much, but you don't even know their names. So girl, right. you really don't need to be fucking with him anyway. We'll put I will put it I put it out here like that because I know you know we got someone watching you know different age of watching this show. If you don't know your social security number, <laughs> don't send no news. I know that's right. Know See, that's definitely right. eliminate a lot of them for sending anything because they don't know it. Man, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Some people, some people slow like that shit. You know what? I just ugh, I can't wait to May. I am I know, right? I'm so I am real geeked up right now. So I just I can't so wait to May. I can't wait to May, y'all. Um, there's gonna be so many changes. We've been changing. Blue Cup has been involving so much from when we first started. After every season, there's been a change, something new has happened. Now we in season four. We got 10 gone. We got okay. Yeah, we got we got Kai. Um, but when season five come, there gonna be some changes, y'all. Y'all just wait. Y'all oh, just y'all wait. They, they finna be good because she ain't even told me this shit. <laughs> it's gonna be good. It is. It. I, I'm. Te- I see it. I'm. I'm putting it in the atmosphere. She, y'all, she ain't even told me this shit. I don't think I know about his May. I don't know about Nana. So now it's starting to feel some type of way. May May is season five. May is season five. April is the rest of season four. I don't don't, don't, don't know. (laughs) She got something else up under her sleeve, y'all. She just don't want to tell. I got a lot under my sleeve, but y'all gonna have to tune in to find out. Okay, but thank you all for tuning in tonight. Join us Monday. Sorry, Friday. <laughs> I had too much, too, too much vodka and, and cranberry. <laughs> uh, Friday, April the 9th, my daughter's birthday at hey. 7:30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Fuck Your Feeling Friday. We'll be live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter for that. Um, if you miss any episodes on season one, two, or three, you can definitely catch up on all of those episodes on iTunes, Pandora, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Amazon, Google, Lexia, and many, many more. Also, make sure you follow and leave a review on any of your listening sites. Please follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at Blue Cup Chronicles. Remember, blue is spelled B-L-E-W, not B L U. Thank you. Hold that up. Thank you. Not not the color, not B-L-U-E, okay? B-L-E-W. Thank you.
Okay. Also be sure to visit our website at bluecupchronicles.com. You can email us at bluecupchronicles at yahoo.com. You can send us ideas and topics. You can remain anonymous. You can also give us first name only. Before we, um, we go, we do have our quote of the day as usual. And that is, if you have to expect things of yourself before you can do them. I'm going to say that again. That is, you have to expect things of yourself before you can do them. Okay? I'm just saying. Right. I hope we blew your mind. Until next time, see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.